Hi, we are excited to walk you through the new features of Picto 1.6. And I'll start right away with um, a major new addition called Editing Workspaces. Editing Workspaces is a new section in the sidebar where we list applications for which we have performed a specific integration. And uh, the idea is uh, to create a, a workspace where you can uh, edit using those applications and uh, start from any image in your catalog and bring it into that workspace to perform edits. So the first workspace that we expose is uh, Pixelmator Pro and we will walk you through uh, through that in a minute. But before we like to explain the, the idea behind the workspaces, what we want to achieve here is to be able to give you quick access to all the uh, edits that you have performed uh, using a specific app. And um, if I look, for example, in my Pixelmator Pro workspace, if I click on it, whether I click here or whether I click on all versions, I'm going to show all the Pixelmator Pro files that exist in my Picto catalog. So basically here, what I have is I, I have added a, a pictures folder that contains uh, lots of images, uh, including some Pixelmator profiles. Um, if I click on here, for example, you can see all those images that are various, of various kinds, uh, Photoshop, uh, Affinity, etc. And if I click on Pixelmator Pro, it's just going to show me the Pixelmator profile that exists in my catalog. So all version doing the same thing. Last edit is just going to sort them by uh, editing date. So it's very easy to, to see which are the ones that I've last been working on. And then there is a work folder, which in my case is currently empty, but this is where you can add your new edits. And um, this work folder is, uh, I can show it in the finder. It's, uh, it's living here, it's called Pixelmator Pro and it lives inside my Picto uh, area. And if I save any file here, uh, well, Picto is going to synchronize its view automatically and it's going to track the files automatically um, that are there. I can also start from uh, any image. Let's say I want to edit uh, this image in Pixelmator Pro because I want to do certain things, uh, pixel level uh, editing. I can just drop it in my work folder and it's going to uh, create um, a working version in Pixelmator uh, for that image that I can then edit. We'll see that uh, in a minute. You can uh, remove an integration if you don't want to see it anymore. It's not going to touch any of your files, it's just going to remove it. And you can also edit it. So for example, I can change, for example, my working folder and, and do other things uh, with it. You can access all your um, integration from the Applications tab. So I can remove it from here as well, and I, they can configure some that are not added yet. So these are uh, editing workspaces, and uh, we will keep adding new ones as uh, Picto evolves. And it's a great way for you to to create that bridge between uh, between applications, cataloging apps, and uh, editing apps. Let's see what happens when we launch Picto for the first time. Picto detects that uh, Pixelmator Pro is installed on my machine and offers me to create uh, the integration with Pixelmator. In order to do that, I have to install some shortcuts. Shortcuts are a way for Picto to control Pixelmator. And there are two shortcuts to install. You just have to click on the Add Shortcut button on each of them. And once you go back to Picto, it will tell you that everything is all right. And it offers you to create a working folder. The working folder is going to be the place where uh, every new Pixelmator file created from within Picto will be, um, will be stored. So I can either uh, specify my own working folder or I can let Picto create it, which I'm going to do now. And um, it's going to create a working folder in the um, pictures folder next to my uh, Picto database. Now that Pixelmator Pro is um, is attached to Picto, uh, I have this new um, 
editing workspace called Pixelmator Pro and, and in that workspace, as we've seen before, I can access all the versions, all the last edits, and I can have a view on my work folder, which is currently empty. So what happens when I click on Pixelmator Pro, either on the, uh, uh, on the header uh, or on the all versions uh, node, I'm going to see all the uh, Pixelmator Pro documents that I have in my catalog. And I just happen to have uh, ingested this folder called Pictures, which contains a, a number of subfolders with various file types. And um, some of them are Pixelmator Pro documents in that uh, subfolder. So when I click on uh, Pixelmator Pro, it will simply unveil all those documents for me. So it's a very easy way to get access to, um, to my existing documents. Now suppose I start a new document. So I'm, I'm opening Pixelmator Pro and I'm going to pick a template. Uh, let's take uh, this one. Okay. Right, and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it in the um, Pixelmator Pro working folder. So this is the document I create from scratch from Pixelmator, and I choose to save it inside the um, Picto working folder. When I go back to Picto, Picto is going to synchronize automatically and uh, is going to display that document. So one of the cool things about um, Pixelmator inside of Picto is that we can generate super high resolution previews of those images, that you, of those documents. And in order to do that, we have to allow that shortcut that we've, one of those two shortcuts that we've just installed to run every time we need it to. So I'm going to click on Always Allow. And if you look at the image here, it's a bit blurry. And then suddenly, after a few seconds, it becomes super sharp. And this is exactly the same preview uh, as you get in Pixelmator. In fact, uh, Picto is commanding Pixelmator to create that preview. And you, as you can see, well, as you, you can't see it because it's still running, but it even works when Pixelmator Pro is not running. So if I click on that document, it's going to render it in full resolution now, as you can see, and Pixelmator Pro is not running. So that's very cool because we can command Pixelmator to do things for us. Now, if I go back to that document, and I can, of course, go back to Pixelmator to, yeah. and uh, I can edit it further. Save it. Go back and uh, Picto updates in real time. The document is updated in, in real time. Um, so that's cool. I can um, catalog, in a sense, all my Pixelmator Pro documents, the ones that are in folders that I already watch, or the ones that I put myself in the work folder. But I can do even better. Now we're going to go in a Capture One catalog. And let's say I want to do some processing on a specific image. For example, this one. So I can now uh, invoke a new method, which is to create a working copy of that uh, raw file. It's a raw file, as you can see. Create a working copy in my Pixelmator Pro working folder and edit it in Pixelmator. So I can do that by clicking on that, uh, on that command, or I can simply drag that document into my work folder. So if I do that, I have to invoke the second shortcut that we've installed, and this shortcut allows me to create a Pixelmator document from any file. I want to allow that to run always, so I won't be bothered anymore with this dialog. And now I am in Pixelmator with this um, raw file that I, that I uh, added as, as an input, and Pixelmator has created a raw layer. Uh, this is a way for Pixelmator to work with the raw content. And I can do things on that layer. I can, uh, for example, say I want to apply some effect here. Uh, I'm just going to bump a little bit the exposure and, and, and 
to various things on, on that image, for example, um, and I can save it. So notice that um, I, we started from a raw file uh, living in Capture One. We created a Pixelmator document automatically. And now I'm going to save that document, which lives in my working folder. And as you can see, Picto initially has the uh, initial version of that document and now is, is updated to display um, the uh, edited version. And there is a little bonus here because you can see that I have uh, a little glyph here, that a little badge here that tells me that I'm looking at one version and I have two versions of that document in my catalog. And that's true because I have this Pixelmator Pro version and I also have the original, which lived in Capture One. So that's uh, that's pretty cool um, because I can um, I can now edit in uh, in my tool of choice if uh, Pixelmator Pro is the tool I'm I'm interested in because it has so many uh, super cool features about uh, uh, selecting things uh, uh, and doing pixel perfect um, selections and and there are so many tools in in this in this app that are quite quite cool um, and you can use them from uh, any file that you have in Picto. It's like having Pixelmator as, a, as an on-demand plugin for any of your images in Picto. So that, that's great. Um, if I go back to my Pixelmator Pro workspace, I of course see all my, all my documents here. And uh, because they are um, cataloged items, I can of course uh, annotate them. Uh, let's add a, a favorite on that one. Um, I can include them in smart albums. So for example, if I click on that smart album here, which is the favorite Pixelmator um, document, I can actually, maybe not, let's just edit it. Yes, it's not the right. So I'm interested in PXD files and uh, favorites, right. So now I can see all the Pixelmator Pro documents that are also marked as a favorite. So um, anything that is, uh, is in Picto in the catalog, whether it's a standard image or whether it's a, it's a document such as Pixelmator Pro, uh, can be used in uh, in those queries, in those um, yeah, smart albums. It also works for um, the AI. So if I'm, uh, for example, looking at that view here, and I'm looking for an image that features a cat, well, it's going to it's going to pick it up because. Um, this is a, a document that I've created in Pixelmator and uh, uh, there is a cat in the image uh, underneath and uh, it's it's picking it up. If I know that I have somewhere a bird um, and I'm looking specifically for a Pixelmator Pro document, here it is. So, this is not annotated by hand. It's been uh, analyzed through AI, and I can um, I can find it like that. So, with this uh, integration of Pixelmator inside of uh, inside of Picto, I get the ability to view all my Pixelmator profiles from one unique uh, editing workspace here. So, all my files, all my catalog files that are Pixelmator Pro documents, I'm going to see them. I'm going to be able to uh, to view them all. I'm going to see uh, see them by uh, by last edit date, so I can see the last ones I've been working uh, on. And I have my work folder here, which is the area where I can drop some new files uh, that are going to be automatically cataloged. And uh, we've seen that um, the uh, Picto is able to command Pixelmator to create super high resolution previews of whatever content uh, uh, document is created. And uh, if you choose to export to um, to the file, whether you export a single file, whether you export an album, um, Picto will use Pixelmator to generate those high resolution previews. So we will get the exact same results as you would get if you export from um, Pixelmator directly with the difference that you can choose to export all your files at once. Um, so you can create batch exports uh, from within Picto um, and get the uh, 
full resolution that uh, that those documents have. So we hope you like this uh, um, Pixel Meta Pro editing workspace inside Picto. There are a few other improvements that have been made in this uh, release. Um, for example, when um, adotating mul multiple versions at the same time. If you have a multiple selection here, now you can individually change, say, the rating of one image within that, uh, within that selection without losing the selection. And of course, you can set globally the rating to, say, two stars for all these images and uh, undoing will properly reset uh, all the um, all the original ratings uh, for those images so multiple section has been uh, has been improved and we also improved the way you can now interact with uh, capture one session and previous versions you could not launch an image in a capture one session now you can uh, you can do it and uh, it's going to pick the correct image for you to uh, uh, to make the edit. Of course, if the session is already running, it works as well. So you can uh, you can access um, you can access your images in uh, Capture One sessions uh, from uh, Picture One Point Six.